If you had any doubt that sometimes the SAT just does stuff to mess with you, just look at this stupid chart. Why is seal B first before seal A? Why not go A, B, C? This makes no sense. Why do that? That is so dumb. The only reason they're doing it is to mess with you. So not that you needed much convincing, but yeah, the SAT is out to get you in certain ways. So let's take a look. Let's do this passage. Uh, which choice most effectively uses data from the graph to complete the text? Okay, so as always, we're gonna have a sentence or two that just kind of tell us what we maybe already know. Uh, let's focus on those, uh, the sentence near the end uh, where we get a conclusion. So uh, starting at the top though. Research suggests that REM sleep in animals is homeostatically regulated. Animals compensate for periods of REM sleep deprivation by increasing subsequent REM sleep. When on land, fur seals get enough REM sleep, but during the weeks they're in the water, they get almost none. In a study of fur seal sleep habits, researchers recorded the REM sleep as a percentage of baseline of fur seals once they had returned to land. They concluded that REM sleep may not be homeostatically regulated in fur seals, citing as evidence the fact that the seals in the study something. Okay. So the very thing that they just talked about the entire passage, they're saying it's not true, right? So what is homeostatic? What does it mean? Maybe we go back here. Animals compensate, meaning make up for periods of REM sleep deprivation, meaning a lack of sleep by increasing subsequent REM sleep. So maybe this means that they get less sleep. So they, or I don't know why I'm writing less. <laughs> Let's do sleep. So less sleep leads to more sleep. Right, that's basically what they're saying. And then for seals specifically, this is water and then land, right? So look at the graph. This is saying, this is the sleep on land after being in the water. So day one, they're back on shore. Okay, so, all right. Do I see a pattern? I don't know, it looks like seal B had, some, had more sleep one day, less sleep another. Seal A had the same kind of amount of sleep, seal C was lower. I, I, I don't know, I don't know what this means. Let's look. Uh, a, uh, they are citing as evidence the fact that seals in the study didn't show significantly less REM sleep during the second day after return to land than they did during the first day. Oh boy, they didn't show significantly less REM sleep during the second day after return to land than they did during the first day. I don't even know what that means. I genuinely don't know what that means, right? So maybe to come up with a better dumb summary for this blank, they're saying that less sleep doesn't lead to more sleep. So uh, sleep doesn't matter. Maybe that's my dumb summary, right? It, it doesn't matter. This seems to be suggesting it's matter. It matters because there's less sleep one day or they didn't show significantly less sleep during the second day. But I don't know, like th this one here, seal B seems lower. I don't understand what this means. Let's move on. B, they showed no significant differences from one another in baseline levels of REM sleep. Uh, okay, do I know the baseline? The baseline isn't here, right? This is a difference from the baseline. So I don't, do I even know the baseline? I don't, I don't think so. C, didn't consistently demonstrate a significant increase in REM sleep after their period of deprivation in the water. Well, yeah, because look, this one's, this one's high, then it becomes low. Uh, this one's low and comes higher. This one's just the same. So I didn't demonstrate a significant increase. Yeah, some of them are low, some of them are high, right? Like, it seems like the pattern is there is no pattern. So maybe D showed no significant difference between REM sleep after returning to land and REM sleep while in the water. Well, again, I don't know what they did in the water, right? So uh, this seems hard to prove, but this seems easy to prove. So for nothing, uh, for nothing else, go with that. I might mark this for review if this were on a test because I feel like I'm picking that because I'm just like, well, I don't understand the other choices and I do understand C and it works. So I'm just gonna pick it and hope the others are wrong and not worry about the fact that I don't understand them. And I, I do think that's an important thing to do on a lot of hard passages, whether they're graph questions or not. Uh, sometimes the very fact that you don't understand something is evidence that it's wrong, right? If you understood the passage, if you understand kind of what's going on, if you don't understand the choice, it might just be complete nonsense. That does happen sometimes. So don't force yourself to try to understand it. Um, that said, I'm gonna force myself to try to understand it. Uh, the hardest part of this is the stupid Y axis here. Here's what this means, right? So the REM sleep as a percent of baseline, right? So there is some base amount of sleep that they're getting, okay? So that would be the 100, right? This is, this is like the same amount of sleep. Because if you're getting 100% of the sleep you got before, then that's the same amount of sleep, right? It's the same thing. 
So it looks like seals B and A got more sleep when they came back, but seal C kind of a little bit less, right? So that's day one. And then after that, day two, which I don't, I don't think anything would have changed other than now it's just day two, uh, seal A is still getting more, but now seal B is less than when it started. So the very, the very thing that we were supposed to prove and they decided that it was wrong was that after being in the water and having less sleep, they're going to come back and get more sleep. But seal C in day one seems to be proving that wrong. Seal C did not get more sleep. Seal C got less sleep. And then even on day two, it looks like seal B joined that club and is also not getting more sleep. So uh, basically this up and down thing didn't work. What should have happened if this were true is that all the seals would be like up here, right? All the seals would have more sleep because then they're tired from being in the water and they get more sleep. And I guess that's basically what this is. Uh, so that gets rid of these choices because they didn't show significantly less REM sleep during the second day after returning to land than they did during the first day. Well, um, yes, some of them did. Seal, what was that, B? Yeah, Seal B did. That's, that's just not true. B showed no significant differences from one another in baseline levels of REM sleep. Again, we don't know the baseline, so I don't, I don't know where they're starting from. We just are comparing each seal to itself. And then D showed no significant difference between REM sleep after return to land and REM sleep while in water. Well, they did. Some of them did, right? I mean, look at seal A. Seal A is higher. So that one did show a significant difference. But the point is, it's not consistent. The different seals had different patterns. So that's what C is saying. It's not consistent. It didn't consistently demonstrate a significant increase because even just one seal in this chart that's below is enough to disprove the theory. So hard question. I, I, you know, this is just the SAT being mean, but sometimes, yeah, you got to just place the best bet. And I would have marked this for review because I'd probably be at like 60% confidence. But if it's a hard module and I got to get as many questions as possible, sometimes that means placing a bet in a minute or two and then moving on and hopefully having time to come back, but maybe not. So getting to 60% confidence, it's better than nothing.